Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts, your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 18, Conquered and Exiled, Understanding the Babylonian Conquest. The Babylonian Conquest and Exile was a significant event in the history of Israel and Judah. The fall of Jerusalem to the Babylonians in 587 BC raised profound questions about human responses to trauma and loss for which the Bible does not provide simple answers. This lecture examines the three perspectives found in writings from the period before and after the fall of Jerusalem. The book of two kings attempts to explain the loss by interpreting the rise and fall of the monarchy through the lens of Israel's exclusive loyalty to God. According to this perspective, the destruction of the northern kingdom by the Assyrians and the southern kingdom by the Babylonians was a result of Israel's unfaithfulness to God. The book emphasizes that God allowed the conquering nations to punish Israel for turning away and worshiping other gods. Lamentations, a book written after the fall of Jerusalem, challenges the attempt to find logical sense in the tragedy by giving voice to the victims. It consists of five poems that express different perspectives on the experience of loss. The first half of the opening poem portrays a detached observer who assumes the city deserved destruction. However, the second half gives voice to a victim who questions the fairness and justice of the suffering. Lamentations resists closure, allowing the raw emotions of grief to be expressed and potentially facilitating healing. The book of Habakkuk addresses the struggle of living with unanswered questions. Written before the fall of Jerusalem, it highlights the corruption and social problems within the nation. The prophet engages in a dialogue with God, expressing concern about God's apparent indifference to the situation. God responds by revealing his plan to use the Babylonians to deal with corruption, which confuses the prof prophet further. Habakkuk raises objections to God's actions, questioning their alignment with divine principles. In the end, Habakkuk learns to live by faith, trusting in God's ultimate justice and the fulfillment of his vision. These perspectives from two kings, Lamentations, and Habakkuk offer different ways of understanding and coping with the Babylonian conquest and exile, providing insight into human responses to traumatic events and the complexities of faith in difficult times. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we close out today's profound exploration of conquered and exiled, understanding the Babylonian conquest, we reflect on the enduring human spirit in the face of loss. We have journeyed to the heartache of two kings, the raw grief of lamentation, and the faith amidst uncertainty in Habakkuk. It is a tale of nations and the divine, of punishment and prophecy. But more than that, it is about understanding our history to better navigate our present. Stay with us for the next episode, Unveiling Ezekiel, 
exile, divine presence, and renewal, where we will unravel the complex visions and the prophecies of Ezekiel, whose messages reach beyond the despair to offer a blueprint for regeneration and hope. It promises to be an insightful session, touching on themes that resonate with all who seek meaning in the midst of upheaval. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join our continuing journey through biblical history. Hit the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming lectures and share our thoughts on today's session. Your engagement enriches our community and helps spread the wisdom of those timeless stories. Thank you for watching and may these lessons from the past empower your present. See you next time.